today we're going to tackle acrylic distress technique without acrylic paint. I'm going to be using a classic ink pad in chocolate chip and melon mambo and the hostess set posy punch. So to begin we're going to start with a piece of crumb cake cardstock that I've cut in half and I'm going to use a corner rounded to just round these two corners. I'm going to take my white gel pen and faux stitch down the side. Once I've done that, I'm going to take a piece of Twitter painted designer series paper and I'm going to tie a faux bow by putting a piece of crumb cake seam binding around the back, put a little bit more adhesive on here, and I'm going to put that right on the front of my card. I'm then going to take another piece of seam binding and just wrap it around and tie it and then just trim your edges. For the faux acrylic, we're going to take a piece of vanilla cardstock with a classic chocolate chip ink pad and my chocolate chip stamp and sponge. And we're going to saturate this card with color and just keep rubbing it on there until you have complete coverage on the entire cardstock. Once you've completely covered the cardstock with your chocolate chip ink, you are going to take the Petals of Plenty textured impressions folder and you're going to run that piece through the big shot. When you put your cardstock into your impressions folder, you want to make sure that the impression is going to push up onto the colored portion of your cardstock. I'm going to keep my multi-purpose platform open, put a cutting plate, my impressions folder, and another cutting plate and run this whole thing through the big shot. Okay, once this comes out, it's going to have those little flowers embossed right onto the paper. We're going to take a designer sanding block and we're just going to go lightly back and forth across the surface of our paper, which will remove the color just from the part parts that are embossed. And just keep sanding in different directions lightly until you remove all of the color or most of the color from those flowers. And you're not pushing down into the paper because you want those images to stay raised. Once you've removed the majority of the color, you're going to take the paper that you're using and just discard it because it's, it leaves a dust and you don't want that when you're working on your finished project. Once you have your paper prepared, you're going to take a Melon Mambo classic ink pad and your sponge darber and you're just going to lightly rub again not pushing into it just swiping the surface so that you're only applying a little bit of this color to the surface of your cardstock and wherever you've removed the color that color will sit down and take its place once you're satisfied with your design you're going to take the two and three eighths inch scallop punch and you're just going to punch out a scalloped circle Next, you're going to ink up the Hello Stamp from the Posy Punch stamp set in Melon Mambo ink, and you're going to punch it out using your one inch circle punch. Next, you're going to put Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of your piece of faux acrylic distressed cardstock, and you're going to adhere that to the front of your card. The little hello that you've stamped, we're going to adhere using mini glue dots because that paper is now saturated with ink and the adhesive sticks much better if it's the mini glue dot. So there you have it. That is one of our samples from our Stampin' Success magazine this month. And instead of using the acrylic distress technique, we've used a faux acrylic distress. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you come back and visit us at stampacademy.com very soon. Have a great day.